In this video, we'll learn about the meaning of the absolute value. The definition of absolute value is shown here. The absolute value of x is either x or minus x. It's minus x if x is negative, and it's x if x is greater than or equal to zero. So the idea is that if you put a negative number inside of absolute value bars, the absolute value bars get rid of the negative sign. But if you put a non-negative number inside the absolute value bars, then nothing happens. So let's just do a few quick examples here. The absolute value of 5 is just 5. 5 is greater than or equal to 0, so the absolute values don't do anything. But the absolute value of negative 10 is positive 10. Negative 10 is a negative number, so the absolute values put another negative sign in front of negative 10, which turns it into positive 10. So technically what's really happening is that the absolute values put an additional negative sign. But minus minus 10 really is just 10. Now sometimes we can even use absolute values to simplify algebraic expressions. For example, if I had the absolute value of x squared, it doesn't matter what x is, x squared is always going to be greater than or equal to zero. And that means that the absolute value bars don't actually do anything here, and the absolute value of x squared is always just going to be x squared. If instead I had x cubed inside absolute value bars, well, if x is negative, then x cubed would be negative, in which case we don't know what's going to happen here with the absolute values. It's going to depend on whether x is positive or negative. So this one can't be simplified. So especially when we have variables inside of our absolute values, sometimes we can simplify and sometimes we can't. But when we have an actual number inside the absolute values, we can always know exactly what's going to happen. If the number inside is greater than or equal to zero, then nothing will happen. And if the number inside is negative, then the negative sign goes away.